Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. We continue the series of reviewing Filament dashboard in Cachette project with pull request by James Brooks, feature by feature. And topic of today is one action and one field in the schedules resource. I'm talking about completed at and completing the schedule. And this can be done from two places, from the edit form and from the action in the table. And I want to show you both. So typical would be typical form behavior would be edit form, you edit the schedule and then you complete it. In this case, it's also a bit complicated in live mode. So first you change the status to complete and then you see the field of when it was completed. So this is done in the schedule resource of filament. So select make status is live and then date time picker is visible based on the Boolean condition of that status value. So one way of filling that in, you just fill in the form, save changes, and then that schedule becomes completed. But also what I wanted to show you is this complete maintenance. This is an action in the table. So when I click that one, I have a form of when it was completed, which does basically the same thing. So let's try to fill that in and submit. What would be the result? Completed at when it is saved successfully without even visiting the form. So the goal here and the message here is that for some repeating actions, you should maybe put them in the table itself, like publishing, like completing, like activating or something like that, in addition to edit and delete actions, instead of people specifically visiting the form and then filling the field there. In the code, it looks like this. In the same resource, we have a table and we have a typical edit action. But on top of that, or before it, we have action make visible again with condition. It's visible only if the status is incomplete. And then the label is complete maintenance and there's a form. So that's how the modal window appears here with one field of completed add. And then the action itself, the saving is in the callback function of record update. Record is the specific line, the row of the table that has been clicked. So we update the completed add with data completed add that comes from this form in the model window. And we also change the status to complete. So yeah, kind of a quick tip of repeating the action in the form in the table as well. What do you think? What are other examples of such behavior of actions in the table? Shoot your ideas and experience in the comments below. And I will continue shooting a few more videos about that cachette dashboard in filament. So subscribe to the channel to not miss any of them. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.